Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome to the door in the basement. This is a game where you inherit the family home and there's a creepy door in the basement and you decide to check what's behind that door. That's all I needed to know to play this game and I hope you join me. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it, if you dislike it, dislike it, but let's not waste any more time. And let's hop into the game, let's go. It's been almost 10 years since I was last down here. I would always try to avoid this basement as a kid. Ever since I found that door, the one no one else could see. Occasionally, curiosity would get the better of me and I would peer into the basement. Sometimes the door would be gone. I hoped I would never see it again, but it always came back. Oh boy. Are we going in there now? Then dad said there should only be four boxes to bring up. They, they are marked with yellow tape. Okay. Four boxes deposited. I see boxes. This one, they're marked with yellow tapes. Thank you. Pick up. Need to interact with objects. Where's the door? I don't see a door. There's no door in the basement. You've lied. The game is called door in the basement and there is no door. I should say, oh, you need to go one at a time. Your weak little arms can't carry two boxes at the same time. I've been scammed. There's in fact no door in this basement. Except the door to leave the basement. Maybe now there's gonna be a door? Nope, there's still no door. Oh, just we make uh, very big stompy noises. Baby mode, only one box, yeah. I mean, we could work together, Claire. We could do this like twice as fast. Instead, I'm doing all the work by myself. Uh, any more box? I don't see any more box that's marked with yellow tape. This one, never mind. Okay. What the hell? Some loud noises. Where is this pipe going to, by the way? That's a big pipe for a random civilian house. Alright, take this. One more box. I don't think there was another box, though. What, what do you want from me? Oh! There's a door now. Excuse me. That was no door before. Um, the door opens with no noise at all. Should we go in? I mean, I don't really see there a yellow box here. So I guess the answer has got to be yes. Here we go. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, um, hello? Sure. What are you doing down here? Oh. Oh, fuck. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. I? What? <laughs> Wear a shirt. You're not the, gonna talk to me at all? You're gonna just stare at me creepily? Yo, weirdo. Uh, we got a lot of stuff in the basement, huh? Hold shift to run. Don't say that. Excuse me. Oh, boy. Are you just gonna keep staring at me, sir? How about you fuck off? What are you doing down in this basement? Run away from him. Run before he kills me. She's still just fucking staring at me. He's not moving. But I knew his name started with A. I don't know why I knew that. Is this the SCP facility right here? Are we going into the back rooms? What? Some person just walked by. It's kind of crazy. Uh, note. It feels like weeks since I walked through that door. I'm so hungry. There's no sun down here. So I have no way of knowing exactly how long I've been trapped in this place, but I know it's been a long time. I've been looking for a way out of here since I arrived, but this place seems to go on forever. I'm going to start leaving notes behind to document my findings. If nothing else, it will be a good way to keep track of which areas I've been to already. And perhaps if there is anyone else down here with their sanity intact, my information might prove useful. Okay, thank you for writing down those notes. I appreciate it. We can't go in there. Okay, this is totally some backroom shit going on here. Some weird facility. It's very dirty down here. Some poo poo on the floor. 
Proceed to crouch, thank you. Memento, thank you for the four. So far, nothing has tried to kill me yet. Uh, there's a lot of blood on the wall, though. I just realized. <laughs> that doesn't look very promising. Um. A lot of sounds coming from that hole. Jump. Do a flip. No, oh, thank you. The freaking light humming. Egg picked up a hatch handle. We needed that? All because we were trying to find boxes, huh? Can I open this door? I cannot open this door. Can I jump in here? I don't think I can. There's an invisible wall around the big hole. I guess we're going back. I heard a scream from down there. I don't know who was in there, but I'm not going to find out. I think we got to go back to find wherever we use this hatch handle. Dude, those are some good sounds. <laughs> a banshee. What's this? We use it here. Aha! We need to open this with the hatch handle. I see. Uh, oh, I can see the bottom. I was about to say, if I don't see the bottom, I'm not going in there. Now we're in the sewers. That's going to be real stinky. Oh, um, sir? How did you get down here before me? You. Hello? Wait, there's another person. Stay calm. Don't worry. I can't worry about it. What are you? Who are you? And why are you looking at me like that? And why do you not have a shirt on? Why are all these? Ah! What the fuck? Excuse me. What the hell? Chill, brother. <laughs> he fucking stabbed me with a machete. Ah! No. What did these people are way too quiet? They're sneaky as fuck. I'm so used to horror games having like. Insanely loud chase music. This is extremely unsettling. What? No, 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 no Help help. Can I fight back? I'm gonna fucking die. I'm gonna perish. Do I gotta loop this guy? What the fuck do I do? Uh oh, uh oh, can I lock the door? Can I hide? You bees! No, he's gonna kill me! Help me! I'm stuck. I'm stuck against the light. All right. Well, uh, I guess that's how we end, huh? <laughs> Okay, everyone sucks in here. That's what I found out. I'm gonna run past you, you piece of shit. Dude, how, what are these guys doing in my basement? This is some prime real estate, though. Okay, oh, Jesus. Gonna go in here? Ah! I didn't even see him, man. Fucking run! Help, help, help. Okay, can we open these doors? Just keep running, just keep running. There's something over here. I thought I saw some shiny thing here. We need to find a weapon to fight back. That's what we need. Okay, he's he's running. We're looping. There was nothing in there. Is there something in here? Any weapon, please? Please? Oh, there. There's. I guess we push this. Okay. Ah! It's timed. It's timed. It's timed. Okay. Lock him. There you go, peace. You peace? Run away. You bitch. Okay, we lived. That was real weird. <laughs> that was very strange and unsettling. What the fuck? Okay. Uh-oh. I'm hoping he doesn't figure out that he can just pull the lever as well and then come after me to murder me. I hope he's stupid. What is this? Missing Austin Ward. Richard Brand. Okay, so those were the two people that were just attacking me. Because the one started with A and the other started with R. I see we can save the game. Uh-huh. If saved. I cannot I'm clicking right click. Okay, there we go. At least there's no one down here. 
climb up the ladder? Is that my way out of here? I guess that's my way out of here. Yeah, only- Oh, I don't know if I want to continue going up here, excuse me. Uh-oh. Alright, it was just someone checking. They're friendly. Uh, hi, I can see you. You better not be attacking me. I swear to God, what the fuck? There's two of you. A no shirt gang. Hello there. What are you doing down here? I'm tending to the garden, of course. What garden? There's nothing there. He's gonna pull out his knife and kill me. Let's see. Oh, God. What is this? Can I pull this up? We gotta... F they're gonna stab me. Oh. oh, what the fuck? Have you met him yet? Met who? The man with no face. Who is the man with no face? I'm sorry, I don't know who that is. <laughs> you just said it! You gaslit, but you just... Don't worry about it. Dude, they're fucking gaslighting me. That scripts the crap out of me. Yeah, this game is weird and I don't like it. I think that might be the man with no face. He's got a big arm. You know what I say about big arms? Well, at least he didn't grab me. Oh, this is gonna close back down. Oh, God. Popped up like a... Popped off like a cork. Bloop. That was a neat sound, I <laughs> like that. Big sweaters, exactly. Wait, where are the dudes? Excuse me? Did you just fucking explode? What did you do to him? Hello? <laughs> what happened here? Don't worry about it. You keep saying that and I keep worrying. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, well, I'm going in here. What could pause? Oh. I've got an achievement called Delving Deeper. This is a really weird game. Very strange. And this is all below my house, man. I got a big house. Or big basement, dude. Just loud. I hear other footsteps. This is this is concerning. Are these screams down here? A school camping trip to the Green Valley Forest ended in a tragedy as an animal attack claimed the lives of many of the campers. The attack occurred while the campers were on a hike through the eastern region of the forest. Authorities were called at the, to the scene at 7 a.m. on Saturday morning. Wildlife experts are still unsure as to what kind of animal was responsible for this attack as the campsite is located in an area free from dangerous wildlife. Hmm. That's a nice basement we got in here. It's a freaking mine. I hope you're not watching this with subwoofers because your whole room would be vibrating right now with all this bass going on. Bigfoot is there. We're gonna see Bigfoot down here. Sponge, thank you for the 28. I hear, I hear people walking. behind there. Jesus Christ, that's a bright light. <laughs> I think I see a door there. It is a door. This is the same door that was in my basement before. Oh. There's a... A hatch. Oh, hi! It's another one of you guys. Are you gonna be friendly or are you gonna be evil? Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Get your pixel eyes off of me. Don't disturb the walls. The walls? He can't reach us here, but the man with no face has many pets. Where are we? Who is the man with no face? 
Don't worry about it. You guys keep saying that when you say the most weirdo fucked up shit. That's not how this works. You can't just say some beepy shit and then say, don't worry about it. <laughs> Fucking smiley face. There's candles. Oh, there's a bloody vent. There's more blood. Blood everywhere. What is that walking sound? Stop it. I think I... I hear screaming in the distance too. Uh, is it a torso on a meat hook? Chavis! There's some fucked up shit down here. Is this Bubba's basement? Spiders or spider webs. Screaming. Don't worry about it. Heck, I will not worry about the giant spiders. Hi. Are you the man with no face? I think he's coming. He's got many pets. Run. He seemed pretty slow, though. Can I go through here? I can. Oh! No, thank you. That's a big spooter. How do you fit through that hole? I don't, un I don't know. I don't want to find out. No, nope, 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 nope. That's many spider eggs. That's a big nope from me. As soon as the spider gets larger than your hand, it's a big no from me. Any tiny spiders is totally fine. There's like a big no-no zone for me when it comes to spiders. As soon as they get taller, like larger than this, it's, it's in the no-no zone. <laughs> I'm gonna turn down the audio even more. This is like... Just a very loud bass. Oh boy. That's a lot of eggs. Um, this is Skyrim now. We're gonna kill some giant spiders. Who put these glow sticks here? I appreciate it, but what the fuck? Is there a choice, by the way, that I go the spider way? There's blood. Ah! <gasps> Oh, yucky, 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 bucky. Oh, that's fucked. I hate it. I don't have a flashlight. Fuck. Okay, go in here. That spider is definitely big in the no no zone. <laughs> it's far beyond no no size. Oh no, the big spider's gonna- Yeah, could we not take a glow stick, please? Ah! Oh god, can I be killed by you guys? That is so fucking creepy, I hate it. They're just like laying in wait. They're like those trapdoor spiders. Flare? What is this? What is that? Etched bone? Excuse me? What am I gonna do with an etched bone? Don't you fucking dare. I'm going into this. The light. Light, save me. Ugh. Can I climb up? I can climb up. Guess I'll go back now. Whatever the fuck I'm supposed to do with this. Uh, can I go back? I can. I got the bone. Time to take the ghost photo and leave. J Tiger, thank you for the 13. Can we get out of this hell? Something's telling me we're definitely gonna be chased by a giant spider soon. Oh boy. The way they like menacingly wait with their uh That's real creepy. Don't worry about it exactly. Don't worry about the giant spiders, guys. can definitely get through these holes. They could kill me if they wanted to. But they seem to be friendly spiders. They're friends. They're actually real cute. All right, get out of here. Never coming back here. Okay, we made it. We made it out of the spider zone. All right. Oh, and that was one of the bones I see. Aha, we need three of those. So there's going to be three. Oh, come on. 
There'll be three different areas we have to go into. I'll go into this area first. What's this? Enter? What the hell is going- Is this how we got up? Flare and more spider webs? What? Well, that's easy. Another uh, edge bone. Okay, I don't have to go through spider land to find it. But something's telling me we probably got to go into that last hole to find the last one. Also, like no questions asked. We're just immediately doing whatever the fuck this is. Okay, nice. Now we just need to find the last one. What's this? I've started to hear skittering coming from the walls. I don't know what's making these sounds, and I don't want to find out. If anyone is reading this, don't stay here too long. I want to stay here, not at all, but I have to. Okay. That's gotta be where I get chased. Are you gonna come through here? Yup, sure is. Oh boy. Skittering. I mean, when spiders get this big, they... It's, cr it's weird. I mean, tarantulas are really big, right? But isn't it interesting that they, they haven't gotten bigger? Like, why aren't there spiders this size to just, like, eat, like, I don't know, cows or something? Imagine... Imagine we lived in a world where there were just giant spiders eating, like... Ugh, yucky. Not enough oxygen? What does that mean? the oxygen just doesn't allow it can't they just breathe though just breathe forehead is it because of the way they like their blood flow works they don't have lungs okay i see they breathe through tiny bones what the frick they breathe through their shell and it cannot go very deep Okay, I've learned something about spiders today. I had no idea. Why does everyone know this shit? Casual spider experts, you bunch of creeps. Their respiratory system is very inefficient. Don't let these big spiders hear you flame them. Because of Google, I mean, I guess. Okay, we found the last bone. No more spiders, please. I would like to leave now. What, what could be worse? Giant centipedes? I think giant, giant spiders might be worse, but giant centipedes are pretty bad, too. Uh... What the hell? Oh. Giant centipedes are absolutely worse? Yeah, I could... I'm very much not a fan. I'm less scared of them hurting. It's just like, imagine a giant centipede walking over you. Oh, we get the save, nice. Let's go. And there's so many missing posters. This is my face, probably. Missing, no face. We have Austin, we have Charlotte. We have Henry, Richard, and Marcus. Well, some of these already died. Are those the deaf team and their friends? Patient, Benjamin Taylor. The patient likely suffers PTSD bought, brought on by discovering the bodies of his fellow campers during a weekend trip they took to the Green Valley Forest. Over four weeks of observation, the patient, observing the patient's conditions, condition has not improved any, and so we will move to cognitive behavioral therapy for the next eight to 12 weeks. Uh, what in the hell? This is one giant facility. Giant millipedes. Can I not take a pickaxe like, to defend myself against a giant spider? Yeah, where did the guy with no face go? I hope we won't see him again. We probably will. You really should be picking up some of these lights. Because I don't have a flashlight, as you can see on the screen right now. 
Luckily, they left all these lights behind. I love how they didn't explain anything. It's just like, go through the door in the basement and then... Oh, that sounds weird. What is this? Something big. I met a woman named Zoe today. She's normal, like me. She seems just as confused as I am, but we have the same story. Mysterious door appeared, and when she walked through it, she ended up down here. We're going to split up and try to look for anything that might point to a way out of here. Maybe we can find more people like us as we go. Why would you split up? There's literally like no, pa there's no diverging paths. It's just a one straight path forward. Why would you split up? That doesn't make any sense. Oh boy, I thought there was something coming from the walls, but it was just, <laughs> just dust plus this thing. I thought it was a spider. No more spiders, please. These are just trees. This is fine. Oh Jesus, what are you? Ah, uh, excuse me. Excuse me. You came out of nowhere. You're just kind of stumbling like a drunk guy. Oh Jesus. Oh, what the fuck? You see that movement? What is happening? That's Zoe. Oh no. Um, I'm I'm safe. I fell down though. Uh, I'm outside now. What is this thing? You got a flame burning inside of you. I got an achievement called where are we? Yeah, I would like to have that question answered as well That is fire. It's one just paper fire Oh, we're in the swamp now nice Why is it still so echoey? This doesn't seem like there's a ceiling to this I'm supposed to go somewhere. I'm just gonna run to. Oh boy, what's this? It's a giant skeleton. This is the Leviathan. What the hell was this? This is kind of a, like a big dog. It looks. Well, not really a dog. It's just got like normal hands with thumbs and everything. It is very large. I see, I see a cave. Go back into the cave. Climb up. I don't think I can. Right, there might be something over there, but I don't think I want to go there. I feel slightly safer here. It's weird that there was still so much echo out there. Okay. Television. This place makes no sense. I thought we were somewhere deep underground, but no, but one of the tunnels opened into a marsh. Steep rock walls surrounded it, but it very much has the feeling of being outside. Climbing the walls seems impossible. I found colossal skeletons partially submerged into the dirt. One of them looks almost human, but it's missing a face. At the entrance, I saw a statue seeming to deify the creature. Whatever these things are, they've been here for a long time. I don't have to tell. That noise. Okay, we can go there or we can go here. No, this is locked. Never mind. We'll go here. Bailey, thank you for the 12 months. Can I drink some water? Glug, 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 glug. Gonna drink some water real quick. Drink some water from the, the sewers. That's immersive right there. Oh, God. What are these noises? Sewer water. Um, what the fuck? Secret for the eyes. You're unwilling to give up your eyes at the moment. At the moment? <laughs> what do you mean at the moment? <laughs> I'm back with eyes. I, I'm pretty sure I'm unwilling to give up my eyes at every moment. <laughs> Uh oh. Oh, it's just fans. It's just fans. We gotta go in there. I don't want to be chopped up. What's that? Discarded eye. What the frick? There's an eyeball laying around. Thank you for the save room every time. Right, do we get any new people? That doesn't seem like it. This one is probably me. 
Okay, one eyeball. Is he gonna be happy with one eyeball though? It seems like the kind of guy that only wants two eyeballs. Can we go in here? I just say, okay, yep, don't go in there. <laughs> I wanted to try out. Okay, maybe we need to stick something in there. But let's see if this guy wants to trade something for this first eyeball. Wanna give me like a stick or something? Uh, are you dead? Oh no, there we go. Secrets for the eyes. You hand over an eye you found. The inhabitants of this place do what they can... F Wait. Inhabitants of this place do what they can to feed it, but it is very old and the task is never ending. For as long as your world has existed, ours has been here, waiting to receive its harvest. Okay. That's it. You just gave me a secret. Secrets for the eyes. Okay, I thought you were gonna give me something useful, you piece of shit. Would you just give me like a secret about this place? I don't care. All right, we need to stop this fan somehow. Maybe? Can we pick up any of these? We could just shove this in there, right? Come on, we could turn this off. Or we could just like dive through it really fast. Yeah, I asked for a refund. Can I have my eyes back, please, sir? Let's check the other gate or the other door if there's anything over there. Oh. He's just waiting there. How many people do you think come by here to give him eyes? Why is he waiting here? Seems like a very inefficient use of your time. Can I open this? Okay, okay. Go back. There's stairs? Wait, there's stairs up here? It was past Eye Man? Up here? Wait, what? Where are the stairs at? Oh, here. Wait, no, that's not stairs. In room. In this room? Wait, oh, you guys, I thought you said I should go back. I? No, near the fans. Okay, well, you guys are just being confusing. Are you saved? Okay, there's stairs in that room. I see, I see. It, it's just, it's probably the chat delay being real confusing. Stairs, stairs. Stairs. There's stairs in this room. There's stairs in the room? There are stairs in this room. Oh, in this room. Ah, oh, I see. There are stairs in this room. Ah. Benjamin Taylor. I asked the patient to describe the animal attack he witnessed at Green Valley Forest. He told me that a monster was responsible for the attack. He described the attacker as having large antlers and standing upright on two legs. However, it was very far away and moving back into the trees. Okay. Now we can turn off the fans. Nice. Change speed. That seems like not what I wanted to do. There. I turned off now. Someone walking behind me? Pretty sure I heard footsteps coming up. What? Is it a Wendigo? Yeah, maybe. Okay, we can go through now. And someone's gonna turn the fans on again and I'm stuck here forever. Don't you dare. Would be cool if you saw someone standing up there. Oh, another note. Splitting up to look for answers hasn't been working. On our own, we've been attacked by a tall, shambling creature. We were able to get away, but I think we should stick together from now on. Finally, oh, we were apart, so we found a knife. It's not very useful against these creatures, but it could be useful later. Marcus, I think they went insane and then he ended up using the knives on each other. Or at least they used them on me, which I do not appreciate. Two doors. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Marcus? Marcus, come back here. Hey. Ah! Oh, I see why he was running. <laughs> I see why he was running. Oh, boy. Holy shit. Are you coming after me? Marcus. Marcus, we can stick together. Marcus? Is this guy coming or is he just... Hello? Am I one of those monsters? 
Wait, is it just standing there? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, it moves weird. It moves so weird. Oh boy. Oh boy. What the fuck? What's in here? What's in here? There's nothing in here. Nothing in here. Go, 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 go before it comes. Can I close the door? I cannot close the door. Just run. Oh, this is, this is really creepy. I hate this thing. It's like a... <laughs> Like a weird revenant. Now go left first. Left wall strats. Oh no, there's more of them! Love it. I come in peace. The Ministry of Silly Walks. I hear all kinds of weird noises what? what is this is this some puzzle jumping puzzle there's no jumping in this game how am i supposed to go over there is this is where i came from i feel like it's a different place oh boy why would you be sitting there why would you be sitting right next to a hole you dummy Silly goober. Patient Benjamin Taylor. Patient's condition is not improving. Not only does he struggle in dealing with the traumatic experience itself, but he has also begun to experience stress-induced hallucinations. Specifically, seeing a door appear in his basement. I'm going to assign the patient some group therapy sessions to see if talking with others who have had similar experiences might help. Aha. Uh -huh. Similar experiences with doors, or what do you mean? Probably with the trauma. <laughs> we gotta move these around to make a bridge. Is that what we're doing here? Yeah, we are. Oh boy. Okay. But we can do this. Turn it again. So it's like that. Exactly. Oh, this one. Yes. Wait. I can only turn a few of these though. Oh, I need to go there. I see. Or at least for now, we need to go there. But I can only turn it this way, though. Excuse me? I can't turn it further? Okay, that's kind of fucked. That works, but... Amnesia puzzle vibes. I don't think we can make this regardless. I would have to make this one go that way and then turn this one all the way around, but I can't do that. Maybe it's because this one is in the way. Now, maybe? No, it just goes only two ways. It just goes back and forth. Okay, so there's no choice there. But anyway, maybe we can rotate this thing. There's more over here. Uh-huh. So we just need to rotate this one. Yes. Go. Nice. Okay. One, two more. Yes. Perfect. There we go. Okay. That wasn't too difficult. I just thought we were supposed to go over there because that looks important as well. That looks like it will be a secret. But anyway, let's go. Yeah, I don't think we're supposed to go to the left. Maybe... Maybe you can, but I, I, I'm not smart enough to figure it out. Better jump in this game. I'm pressing jump right now. It doesn't do anything. Uh, oh, I, I, th I thought I picked up the notes, but I don't. I'll leave them behind. I'm, I'm very selfless cave explorer. I just leave the notes so someone else can find them. So they can have a fun horror experience too. Can I jump off this? I think I want to try. Oh, there's a door there, though. Uh, I should probably not stay on this. This reminds me of, like, that section in Stanley Parable where you can jump off the thing. Luckily, these are not, like, moving around. Okay, we're fine. We made it to the other side. Now what? Kind of reminds me of Inside Depth, like, 6. 
in a weird way. Zoe has gone missing. We found a place to hide and get some sleep, but when I woke up, Zoe was nowhere to be found. I've searched the surrounding area over and over again. It's been days now. She's just gone. I'm alone again. Damn, Marcus is down bad. Feels bad, man. Any parables not a horror game? That's what you think. Just wait till you get the bucket. Oh, there's more now. I'm just always saving in a new slot. That's my rule. There's brambles now. Is there a fucking mask? Why? What is this game about? It's about a door in your basement. And you decide to go in it. And then you find yourself in whatever the fuck this area is. Some kind of alternative universe. Parallel universe. Oh no, not mannequins! Hi, there's another person. Are you gonna stab me? E, hurry! He'll make you better. Do you have eyeballs? Did you give your eyeballs to the creepy hand? And walk through. I was just trying to make some chain noises because they're cool. It's a weird zigzag. Puzzle time? The handle is missing. Well, I guess we'll go down first. Over here? No. The, at least there's some plants growing. There's is there blood on these? How many people have walked into these brambles? Uh, oh, you have a knife. You suck. Okay. Just try it. Try and be sneaky. It's like half mannequin, half man. Thank you. Bye, dummy. Go, go, go. He's gonna see me. What's wrong with that guy? I mean, maybe that was, maybe it was just friendly. Maybe he's just walking around with his knife. What else can you really do down here? There we go. I'm glad I'm not being chased right now. All right, easy. So far, so good. Simplest puzzle of my life. Can I kick down this box? can't replace your head with a mannequin head. That would make no sense. And now there's going to be a new person, right? Richard. Elizabeth here. Eliz so that was Elizabeth. Okay. So they all look the same. No matter who they were in real life. I see. I mean, one of the, we haven't seen Zoe yet. Have we seen Marcus? I think we have seen Marcus, right? But wait, if we saw Marcus early on, how are all these notes further? Um. Hi. For a man with no face, you clearly got a face. Oh. Hi. What are you doing? Wanna talk? Are you eating someone? The doll maker, not again. Oh, what exquisite, exquisite parts you have. You'll make a fine addition to my collection. I'll get you to you as soon as I'm done here. Don't go anywhere. Oh boy. <laughs> you look creepy. That's actually real creepy. No, 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 no. Don't look at me like that. Just look at the body. Yes, thank you. There's so many bodies here. What the hell? You have a lot of work to do, right? You don't mind one person getting away, hopefully. I guess so. Oh. Oh, 
Oh no, they they blink. Oh hi. You better not stab me. You're just chilling. You're just standing there doing nothing. Oh, there's more of them. He's building an army. Mark off. Don't follow me. I will kick you in the face. Yeah, I don't like how they look at you. Oh. Hi. Are you gonna stand up? You got a baby head! Oh no, it's a mask. Is it a mask? Bing. You're real creepy. You're a real creep. Something fell apart. Right when I come here, something falls apart. What an unfortunate coincidence. How did you get this nice chair down here? This must be, must be like... That must be real special. I've not seen any of those chairs. Very unlucky, indeed. I mean, it would be even more unlucky if I got stuck behind it. Forever. And I finally, like, takes up one of these people's knives and just starts stabbing them. Benjamin Taylor- Why is this down here, by the way? What's the therapy files doing down into the- in the shadow realms? The patient has had several group therapy sessions and his condition does not appear to be improving. We will continue these sessions for a few more weeks, but if there is no clear improvement, I will begin administering EMDR treatment. Additional, I could prescribe Ben some antidepressants to aid with his memory. Or recovery, sorry. Hi. You're behind a prison. How'd you get there? Who did this? And why? Well, they're all like in prison you're completely intact i mean we can't see his entire body if you know what i'm saying <laughs> maybe he's got a mechanical wee wee he's in jail what is this this these people build whole contraptions The Duel Maker, man. Not again. I've played too many games with... Or I've played... Games with Duel Makers before and they're never nice. I can't go anywhere. Oh. Is this gonna pull me up? Do I gotta do something with this? Do I gotta, like, a activate the elevator? Follow the cable? Follow the cable? Aha. Uh -huh. Gotta be an elevator. There we go. Let me jump over before we get crushed. Okay, I thought we were gonna get crushed there. Uh, yeah, let's jump in the hole marked by masks that we can't see the bottom of. Great idea. Through the brambles achievement. Oh boy. This is like the, the well in Dark Souls 2. Always hated that area. I always fell down. You made it though. Oh boy. While continuing my search for Zoe, I've come across a lot of machinery. It seems so out of place. I also love how it says Lorem Ipsum, etc., etc. <laughs> Sincerely, Marcus. Do you see that, by the way? What's the purpose behind the machinery? Who built it? I've tried questioning the inhabitants, but none of them would give me any answer. Give me an answer. Don't worry about it, they'd say. How much do they know? Don't worry about it, guys. Is there blood being transported in these pipes? Uh, I'm glad that door is boarded up. I appreciate whoever did that. I feel like they're gonna get through soon, though. Go over here. Oh. Yeah, don't worry about it. No, 
another fan, goddammit. Can't go through there anyway, though. Climb up here. Which leads to nothing. Oh. Benjamin Taylor, patient Benjamin Taylor. I have prescribed a small dose of antidepressants and begun to administer AMDR treatment. The combination of medication and this new treatment have been quite successful as Ben has deemed seemed much calmer during our sessions. While recounting the events at Green Valley Forest, he still experiences heightened stress, but to a lesser degree than a few only a few weeks ago. I'll continue this treatment for the next few weeks and keep an eye on how the patient improves over that time. Isn't the whole point of EMDR treatment to relive the traumatic experience? Oh, of course, he's gonna... I think that's what it is? Like rewire your brain around the traumatic experience? Uh, nothing in here. Desens desensitization? Something like Yeah, exposure therapy, exactly. Like just like when you're scared of spiders, just fucking touch the spider. <laughs> exactly. You just Google the AMDR. That's kind of fucked. AMDR is a very normal treatment, no? Or is it MDR? Is AMDR like electromagnetic version of it? I know MD. Pretty sure it's a very normal treatment. <laughs> oh, we got a flashlight finally. Oh boy, hi. Hi? What's with your posture, dude? You could work on that. Oh no. Flashlight means bad. I've met some strange people down here, but one of them is particularly unnerving. I've never actually met them face to face, but I've been able to speak to them through a small grate along the wall at various locations. Their sickly arm beckoning me from the other side. They claim to know secrets, but this place about this place, but refuse to tell me anything unless I bring them eyes. The ramblings of another insane inhabitant, most likely. But what if they really do know something about this place? Would I ever be willing to sacrifice an eye for information? Could it help me find a way out of here? Question mark, interesting. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. They, it seems like they all gave up their eyes though, because you do not seem to have eyes. Uh, did you just pull out a knife? Stop it. Open the thing. I feel like watching people get slaughtered is not okay. Yeah, of course not. What are you talking about? Of course I'm gonna turn on my thing. He wants my eyeballs, yeah. Don't, I'm not gonna give him. I need these. I mean, honestly, you could play games with one eye, but I'd rather have both of them. <laughs> That's all I need to do anyway. Can't really see depth in games anyway. Uh, do I jump down here? There's water. Hey, Ionic, what's up? Everyone, sli everyone down here seems unable or unwilling to talk about what is going on, but occasionally a piece of information slips out. When questioning one of the inhabitants about the machinery and what purpose it serves, they actually responded. The pipes siphon water to the abattoir. It's the first coherent sentence I've heard from one of them. I tried questioning them further about this abattoir, but they quickly reverted to the usual don't worry about it response I've been hearing from everyone else. I need more information. Why is there a slaughterhouse in this place? Marcus. Oh boy. Hi. Don't go in the water. Wasn't planning on it. Thank you for... Dude, you better not sneak up behind me, you piece. Oh. An eyeball, we get more secrets. If we can find him. Where's he at? I want more secrets. Secrets. Uh, I think I have no choice but to go in the water. Oh boy. That actually spooked me. Okay, it's just, it's just ankle height water. This is fine. 
Uh, isn't this where I came from? Gotta up the water. Or does it reduce the water? Something just fell in the water. I, what was that sound? Do I go back down? Some monster that I can't see. This. Wait, there's multiple. Did I come from here? I did come from here. Okay, so I gotta go up there then. This way. I don't know if this helps. I think I might have lowered the water of the other place, maybe? Oh, I can't even go in here. Oh, there's another one of these. What does this change? Okay, that's two. There's another one. I think the water is rising. This is concerning. Yeah, it sounds like the Amnesia Water Monster. I haven't played Amnesia in so long. I mean, obviously the new one I just played, but not the OG one. The water getting higher. It definitely is higher. It's at chin level now. I'm assuming this is good because now I can go this way and then I can go through the other area. The other area, the water was super high before. Water monster is the most terrible. Isn't it funny that that's the most terrifying part to a lot of people, yet you can't even see the monster? It's just like... <laughs> Just some water explosions. That's all. Like, I don't think I've ever been caught by that guy. What even happens? Do you just like, does it just make like a cracking sound and then you're dead? I thought it was the same for me with, or it was the same for me with, um, oh God. With Amnesia the Bunker. It was way scary for me to play Amnesia the Bunker until I saw the monster. Once I saw the monster, it was like, okay, now I know what I'm afraid of. But before that, it was real creepy. Hey, Anthony, what's up? I can't wait to play that again. I really like the way they designed the gameplay. Like the non-linear ways you can go through the game. Ow. What am I doing? I... It looks the same, but it's not the same. This is mysterious. Cannot open these doors. They do not have handles. Inside the back room's water part. So many back rooms games nowadays. There's quite a few good ones though. We can go up there. Might have already said hi. Hi again. Never enough highs. What the fuck is this layout? Oh, Jesus Christ. Of course. Of course, the giant metal pipe disintegrates as I walk on it. How convenient. I can't even open this door. Oh, there's a grate. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, no, it's a puzzle. Okay. Well, oh, no, I gotta do it fast. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Go, 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 go. Uh-oh. This is the easy puzzle, though. Wait, no, it needs to, yeah, it needs to go up here. There. Is that it? Now it's the turn. Could have gone way worse. What's it? Oh, hi. Anyone there? Heard that. Can I get more eyeballs? I want more secrets. 
give us a sign. Oh, hey, exactly. Hi. Secrets for the eyes. I will. You hand over an eye you found. Oh. The way is open only to those who have witnessed the unnatural. Only the eyes of one who has be seen beyond their world can see the door. And only the witness may cross the threshold. It calls to them. It's so weird to all of a sudden. Like, my ears are just, like, ringing because it was constantly... There was, like, this background hum and all of a sudden it's silence. Oh, boy. There. It's back. Can I get more eyes, though? One weirdo facility. These doors usually open. Yeah. Aha, to save room. Thank you very much. We have any new ones? We have a new one. We have Stephen Lawrence. Okay. Was that the. Uh, we saw an S before, right? Bit of a bit interesting that like an alternative universe just is like just like a factory. <laughs> no like non-linear weirdo space is just just some pipes and that's it. I do some doors open and most doors just don't do anything. I even have these doors. I'm just following in the footsteps of Marcus. We're gonna find him. Locked. Hi. Can I not talk with you? You guys all are super naked. Here we go. The abattoir. I knew it sounded important, but when I returned to the inhabitant that fi initially mentioned it, I found them dead. Apparently someone or something doesn't want people talking about that place. Thanks to that one slip of the t slip of the tongue, I have a lead. If I can find my way to the abattoir, I might be able to find Zoe and get some answers. Is Marcus gonna be the final boss? Enough that shit. Who's leaving these televisions on? Wasting power down here. More like the final core. Oh, yucky! <laughs> you dick. Jump scare man. Um, is anyone can I talk with you? Anyone know where to go? Oh, wait, we already read this. Wait, do I just go back now? Is this door open? Oh. He fucking exploded! Do they just like self combust? What the hell? What is happening? Picked up gate key, uh-huh. Oh, no, what am I supposed to do? Ah! Oh, what the fuck? Close the door, close the door, close the door, close. I can't close the door, just run, just run, just run, just run. What the fuck? Okay, he's not gonna come through, you piece of shit. Holy hell, he came out of nowhere, man. Do I go through? There was a gate that was locked over here, right? If I remember, on the other side. Oh. And thank you for the eight months. This one. Or has been unlocked. Are they still chasing me? Another eyeball. We get more secrets. Let's go. I need to make sure not to miss an eyeball. Uh oh. What are they locking up down here? Why is everything escaped? Nothing left here. That was not my footsteps. I finally found Zoe, but something has happened to her. She's like them now. A blank, featureless husk. But it has but it has Zoe's knife. The only words out of her mouth, don't worry about it. 
If they all used to be normal ones, it's the same thing going to happen to me. I have to get out of here fast. Marcus. Uh-oh. Unlock the door right when I was coming up. Oh, uh, there's a hole. Turn that off. Fish. First, I need to check over here. Probably can't open this door, though. I consider playing some scuffed horror backrooms games. We've been wanting to play some backrooms games, like inside the backrooms. Didn't I already play that, though? I don't know if I played that one. There's just so confusing. Like, there's so many different backrooms games. I never know which one I played and which one I haven't yet. And then some of them are multiplayer. Others are single player. Some are just like five minute experiences. Others are like 20 hour horror games. It's like, you never know. Uh, I'm lost in the sauce. All of a sudden it's extremely quiet. Except whatever that is. Are we gonna see the spiders again? That end? Oh no, it's this way. Did I somehow go all the way around? Oh, there's a giant hole. Of course, another giant. Oh no, never mind. It's not that deep. It's gonna hurt my ankles, though. Yep. Eyeball? Any eyeballs? Thank you. No new poster. There's way more posters showing up over time, though. Of whoever that is. I don't like the music. Yeah, the music is a bit ominous. Oh, uh, why is my flashlight blinking? Is it hunting? You better find Marcus eventually. Marcus is like looping background noise. Oh, I thought it was cables, but it's a spider again. I thought we were done with you guys. Maybe it's the faceless man. The original person who got lost in the cave. Fighters are back. I'm not a fan. Uh, as long as they leave me alone. I seem to be afraid of light. What the fuck is this? There's giant bloody walls? How'd the blood get all over these walls? Like Maze Runner over here? Hi. Um, are they just standing in line for something? Are they getting some freaking Ben and Jerry's over there? Into the metal box. Seen no more. Faceless man is the big bad of this world. I mean, maybe, maybe it's just giving these people purpose. Like, how are they eating and stuff? Are they just sl sh slowly turn mad as they run out of food? Or, well, they don't really have food to begin with. Ooh, a note. And a valve handle. Thank you very much. I've seen people being lined up at the front of the building. More mindless husks being watched over by those shambling creatures that attacked Zoe and I. There's no way I'd be able to sneak past them and get through the front entrance. There are several wooden walkways suspended in the air. They don't look very stable, but perhaps one of those could lead me to a back entrance. Thank you. Thank you for the tip. Need to climb up somewhere? Need to lower this one, probably. No? Aha, we can climb up here. I'm glad they built all these things for us. Catbox, thank you for the 18. There we go. Is there a secret over there though? Is there gonna be an eyeball? Wait, let me turn it back. Eyeball? Nothing at all? Can't go up there? All right, never mind then. <clears throat> the double baby. I still have one, right? Still get another another secret. 
pyrophobia level 11. What does a pyrophobia mean? I know it said Roblox game, but what does it mean? Is it what what kind of fear? What the fuck was this? A rock? Fear of fire? What how random? Does that game have a lot of fire? I didn't when I played it I didn't see any fire. I, uh, I'm being followed by a spotlight. Year of eternity? What? Ah, pyro. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just pyrophobia. Very bright down here. It is the fear of eternity. Okay, wait, that's different. Observing the abattoir, I saw several people being brought here. They look normal like me, like Zoe once did. They were both being placed into cages. Many are missing eyes, but other seem otherwise unharmed. The area is being overseen by a large humanoid figure dressed in a bloody leather apron. Where it's it's Bubba. Where his face should be, there's nothing but mutilated flesh. I don't think there's any way I can help those in prison now. If that man with no face were to see me, dot dot dot. Not a fear of fire. Oh, now I know where to go. Okay, we need to go back. Ah! <gasps> what the fuck, dude? Holy shit. It's like so calm most of the time, and then all of a sudden, there'll just be a fucking dude. Jesus. <laughs> we need to go up there. It, stuff keeps falling down. Dude, look at that speed run. <laughs> now we can climb up here, right? Yes. Oh. It's jammed. While I was unable to help those in prison near the abattoir, it's shown me that there are more people here that haven't been turned yet. If I can find them, we might be able to help each other. Someone has to know a way out of here. I mean, you just gotta find it. I can go along the side. Wait, whoa, 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 but first, is there anything over here? There's nothing. I'm being sneaky. You sneaky. How is this jammed? We are in a place we're not supposed to be. Last year, Galaxy, thank you for the 15. I think everyone has phobia, the fear of fear. I don't know, that seems kind of random. Oh, there's a new one. Uh, this one? James Reed. Why do they all sound like serial killers? I don't know. I don't think anyone has the fear of fear. I mean, maybe. It's just like arbitrary. Oh boy. Hi. What? I have the fear of no face man. Whatever that's called. It's locked. I've seen those shambling things that attack Zoe and I. They don't seem to be concerned with the more docile inhabitants of this place. They specifically seem to go after anyone attempting to find a way out or any of the inhabitants that say more than they should, like some kind of enforcer. I've tried to fight back against them, but nothing works. All I can do is run and hide and wait for them to move on. Marcus. I mean, there's not many hiding places here. We're in just a regular house now. Excuse me. The change, change of pace. Oh, they got a nice chair here. A skinny chair, but nice nonetheless. I've been searching for other people for what feels like months now. I, how are you eating, Marcus? I started to started to give up hope, but I finally met someone else. They couldn't tell me their name. They were hiding in this place and say they know a, of a way to get back home. Unfortunately, this way out is through the abattoir itself. 
really don't want to go back there, but I might have no choice. Apparently, I should be able to find my way into the abattoir by taking the elevator up to the higher floors and then entering through a walkway. One small problem, the elevator is broken. What are the chances that everything I need to fix the elevator will be in the immediate area? I'm so tired, I don't know how much longer I can go on. Oh, hi there. What the fuck? You scared me, but I got an eyeball for you. Secrets for the eyes? Yes, please. You hand over an eye you found? Witnesses who are brought here will always carry a piece of this place with them. No matter where they go, part of them will always remain here. We keep what we claim. What? You guys are selfish. There's a fear of cheese. I did not know that. Okay, well, we're going to be able to fix this elevator. How, how did you not do it, though, Marcus? How did you not fear the fear? Fix the elevator and you still managed to move on beyond here. Did someone destroy the elevator again? Another eyeball. Wait, I'm going back again immediately. I want more. Well, we're going back there anyway, right? After we find the. Oh, okay, well, never mind. We're not going back there. Fuck me, I guess. Gonna be another safe station? What the hell? Didn't we just go in a safe station like a second ago? Yeah, like three minutes ago. Oh, don't blink my lights. Locked. Just tell me I can get back up. I want to give that guy his eyeballs. Oh, what's this? A breaker box? A regular breaker? According to my new friend, the way out of this place is through a portal. This portal is apparently at the base of the avatar, surrounded by large, jagged rocks. This makes approaching the portal from the ground impossible. However, the portal is accessible from above. He says I'll have to hurry, though. Down here, I'll gradually change until I become like all the others. Once claimed by this place, I won't be able to return to the real world. If I'm able to get inside the abattoir and make my way to the top, I could jump off into the portal below. Honestly, I'm not sure if I have the energy anymore. What's the point in even trying? Finding a way inside that place, then making my way through whatever I find in there, all for a slim chance that this guy might somehow know what he's talking about. He's turning. He's turning slowly. He's giving up hope. Open this. Not a valve. That's not a valve wheel. Uh, who turned on th off the power? Definitely not a gin. Need to call. Oh, we need to turn on the breaker because we can't use this right now. Keypad needs power. God damn it. Okay. Okay. I just got. I know where the breaker is. We just got to go back. Yeah. Last message is gonna be. Don't worry about it, Marcus. <laughs> For sure. That has to be it. <laughs> Or he's, he's just gonna like reference it more and more and then eventually it's gonna be all he says for sure In here, right? This was the breaker Boom oh! What the fuck dude Jesus <laughs> You suck You suck big time can I go through here by the way? No, I can't. Okay, just make it sure. Why, what, what's wrong with you? I mean, can you just like self diagnose yourself with a phobia? Is that just a thing you can do? Because I always hear people talking about, I have this phobia, that phobia, X phobia, Y phobia. And I'm just like, okay, well, how do you know though? Uh, we need a code. It's one, two, three, four. Fuck! Ah! Um. It's 4308. <laughs> okay, that's easy. Oh, that's clear. Thank you very much. Appreciate you just wrote that on the wall. Patient Benjamin Taylor. The patient has made significant progress since starting his new medication and treatment. Discussing what happened at Green Valley Forest has become much easier for him now. He understands now that what happened was a complete accident and that it was not his fault. The monster he believes responsible for the attack has also diminished in his recollection. While he still doesn't know what it was, he admits that he must have simply been seeing things. I believe the patient will soon no longer require these sessions. Well then. You used to have the fear of a specific bridge. Interesting. I 
smack. Uh, I'm sprinting faster now? What the hell? Ah! Ah! What the hell? I gained massive speed. They're after me. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's fucking terrifying, man. I'm looping them. Ah, what the fuck? They're both, they're two of them. They're coming from all sides. Ah! What the fuck? Run, run, run. Do we go through here? Do we go through this way? I don't know, man. Run. Okay, this way. Yes, go through the door. Gonna be a safe station. Yes, okay, let's go. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. We're saved. No new. Is there anyone? No, that's still Steven. I guess this is some real creepy animation, so it's very well done. I wonder. So now. I have this thing. I don't know if this is like common. But I have this thing with the way I think. I like constantly. Re There's like a few places that I've been to in video games, real life, uh, or like books even. And my mind just like randomly returns to places like all the time. Like, for example, recently I've been returning to this like one place in Modern Warfare 2 in the favela map, like in the back of the favela map. I don't know why. All of a sudden, I haven't thought about Modern Warfare in a really long time, but just suddenly my brain keeps going back there for no reason. And it does, it does that with all, with many games or with just like random places. I'll just be like, I'll just be like thinking about, like, I'll just be like living my life and all of a sudden my brain is just like, visualizing a place that i've been to in the past very interesting i'm tired my body feels so heavy to heavy to move i need to keep moving forward i keep telling myself but why here we go i'm not getting out of here i'm starting to think the inhabitants are right don't worry about it if i ne have had never concerned myself so much with leaving maybe i wouldn't feel this crushing weight right now what is there to worry about when i've got nothing left to lose i'm tired He's go slowly turning. No, Marcus. Oh, oh no. Let me guess, when I turn off the television, you're gonna get real mad. Ah! Fuck, I should have done it, I should have done it. I should have let you just watch the television. <laughs> ah, fuck. I made a great mistake. Why did I do that? Welcome Raiders, what's up? <laughs> Doggies? What the? There's an invisible dog in there. What the fuck? Invisible dog? The hell? Don't make, don't make me be chased by invisible dogs. That's gonna be terrifying. The hell? Okay, at least you do oh, another eyeball. We got two of them. Two eyeballs. Oh god, we're gonna, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to go through this. It's not what I expect that the walls to look like. Oh, something is up here. Don't tell me I'm gonna be chased by invisible dogs now. It's gonna be so fucked up. They're gonna be so fast. Oh. I relented today. That horrible arm beckoned me once again and I took their offer. Sacrifice an eye to see the truth. Now I know. They revealed to me that there is no way out of this place. Once you're claimed, you can never escape. All that's left is to wait and let yourself be taken by the man with no face. I wonder what more I could learn from my other eye. What it would it offer me some comfort? At least I wouldn't have to look at this cursed place any longer. Oh no. Are we also going to give our eyes eventually? Uh oh. Are we gonna turn through? <laughs> Don't worry about it. We can go down. Oh. Elevator crank. Let's go. Oh, this is right. Yeah, let's go. This is where we started. Okay. Let me go back to give him the two eyeballs we found, if I can find him. He's back here somewhere. This way? 
kind of a oh hi um is this even the this is not where i could go but maybe i'm i'm confused this is the door with the keypad which i think it was through there oh let's save as well might as well wait can i make infinite no i have to start saving over the beginning that's fine though give me eyes Ranta's eyes what a kalash would say I, I don't know where to go but we're gonna i think it's this way i'd be upstairs eyes are tasty but you usually cut out like all of you never is there like a delicacy that's like eating eyes i don't think you usually eat eyes of any creature I played Madison, I have, yes. Oh no, not again! Run the back! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh I cannot go through. Do we even gotta go downstairs? Should I stay upstairs? I think I should stay upstairs. I should not have gone down. Say I'm getting lost in the sauce. This we've already read, right? Yes, the portal thing. Alright, you just chill. I'm gonna go upstairs. If I can find it, please. And just stay upstairs. There, yes. Not a fan of the jelly textures. Aren't eyes like super hard though? Your friend ate rabbit eyes. Did they fucking participate in like survivor or something? That's always the things you see them eat. They're like, would you? Oh, page after page of a legible scrawl. The only thing you can vaguely make out are the words, don't worry about it, faintly signed M. Uh oh. He is gone. He's lost in the sauce. Oh boy. What's through here? Is it? Yeah, here you go. Okay, we have two eyeballs. Let's see. Secrets for the eyes. Hand o you hand over now. You found. Here we go. More two more secrets. The process is a delicate one. I don't know if we should be giving these. Maybe we're slowly turning into crazy people by tr by giving them eyes. The process is a delicate one. Twisting a person into something else must most lose themselves. Apathy takes hold, and they become nothing more than docile husks, ready for harvest. Others react more violently. Their bodies twisted into towering monstrosities. Some would discard them, them as failures, but the man with no face is resourceful. Aggression can be harnessed and used to keep the cattle in check. Why throw away such valuable assets? Uh-huh. So they turn into the other people that chase us. Give another eye. While not required, breaking the spirit greatly benefits the process. Being so far removed from their own world ca causes those brought here to wither. The longer they spend in this world, the more they tire. Eventually, most simply give up and submit willingly to the process. The fuck? I think I have no more eyes. Secret for the eyes. You're unable to give up your eyes, or you're unwilling to give up your eyes at the moment. I'm not a fan of that phrasing. One more eye. All right, well, we're going up. We have to lift ourselves with this crank. Dude, that must be so heavy. Oh, no. Come on, man. Oh, God. I'm going to fall. Well, so much for going up. We're going down. <laughs> Rip. Going down, question mark, achievement. Uh-oh. There's gonna be spiders down here. And Marcus is gone. No more. Oh, here. Benjamin Taylor. Ben's final session is coming up. While I am proud of his progress over the course of this therapy, I'm still concerned about his hallucinations. I believe they were a symptom of, of his PTSD, but even after treatment, he still claims to see that door appear in his, in his basement on occasion. Not a hallucination. Dun dun dun. Back rooms, by the way, that was what that was called. Uh, is there a new one? This one? Oh, that's James. Elizabeth. No, we've all seen these. A new one. 
Seems like the bulletin board is full as well. Uh, oh, we go this way. This is why I'm glad we don't have basements in the Netherlands. We don't do that shit. No creepy basements for us. Hey, Pack, what's up? Yeah, we might be Benjamin. That would make sense. Well, did they call... Did they say that Ben at the start? Because we were called by name at the very beginning, weren't we? I don't know if that was the case. Took us long enough to figure it out. I mean, that, oh Jesus. Wow, no, not giant fucking moths. Uh-oh. Oh no, the window's broken. Please, no. I hate moths. It's blocked. Oh boy. Why am I crouching? I automatically crouch sometimes. Can I find an eye out here? Oh. I'm sprinting. I'm doing fast sprinting. That, me, that makes me concerned. Uh, do I have this? Can go this way. I hear all kinds of crawly creatures. Flashlight off? Yeah, maybe a good idea. <laughs> oh no, but this thing has lights. I don't see them though. Go for a trip. Whee! What if I jump off? I don't know. I don't think I want to. We're in some kind of freaking Elden Ring dungeon now. What the hell? We set up this whole system here. They have like... Gondola transportation. Oh, Jesus! Uh-oh. No, you dick! Damn it. Fucking moth. Personally hate wasp. I recently found out like I knew of the term hornet in English, but I never heard the Dutch word for hornet before. Because we don't have hornets really in I mean we have them in like very a few parts of the Netherlands, but these things are crazy. They're like like absolutely massive wasp thingies. They're fucking crazy. There's no new one. They're like terrifying. I've never seen one though, luckily. They're massive. Are there dogs in here? Invisi dogs? Had a hornet nest under your roof? Yeah, they'll just fucking move at that point. Wait, I'm back up here? Excuse me. Wait, no, this is a different place. What? What the heck? Are we gonna find eyeballs? Where am I going? Uh-huh. I found one of those. We need three. Oh, boy. Oh, Jeebus. But I locked you out. Eat shit. Eat shit. No, I gotta open doors. They know how to use doors. No. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. My whole plan is falling apart. Oh, God. It's a giant moth. Oh, there's another one of these. Okay. Did I come from here? I feel like I came from here, yeah. I just missed that. I need to check around properly then. Oh boy, where the moth going? I'm stuck. Moth, do you got an etched bone for me? Are you gonna kill me? Oh God. Eee, yucky bucky. I mean, they seem to be nice, but... Oh God, he's coming! No! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Moth, no. That's a huge moth. Can I go this way? I only have two! 
What the heck is the last one? Oh god. I, I like how you get like a special sprint when you get close to these. I, uh, I need to go back. I think I, I don't know where the last one is, but it's far away from this place. Okay, we have two of them. Quickly save. I'm just gonna save it in the first one. Oh boy. Um. Something around here. Usually one of them is super close to the door. At least last time it was. Standing up there. Is that where the gondola was supposed to go? But I didn't make it. I have two of them, right? One, two, and then the last one is somewhere here. Ah, there. Okay. That wasn't too bad. That was not, that was way less bad than the giant spiders. Oh, it's a light at the end of the tunnel. Fire. Is it fire? Looks kind of thin. <laughs> oh! Uh-oh. I was mesmerized. I was mesmerized by the fire like a fucking moth. <laughs> I was drawn to the flame. Oh, no. <laughs> I've been baited. I am the moth. <laughs> That's very cool. I like that. Uh oh, hi. Oh, you're just covering up a covering up an escape hole. How convenient. Can I use that as a weapon? All right. Well, that's one way to get out. Escape artist achievement. Is this the abattoir? Well, that's a lot of spikes. These are some nasty spikes. Dummies. The eyeless fool got me captured. Just because he has given up doesn't mean I should as well. I leave his note behind in the hope that it may, might help others. There's a way out of this place, a large, large portal that connects this world to the one we were taken from. If we can reach it, we can finally go home. It is my time now. Into the metal box, seen no more. How you guys look at me if you got no eyes, huh? Oh, how am I supposed to? Perhaps something could be used to bridge the gap. You could probably like, as long as you don't fall into it, you could probably walk through it. But anyway. What could bridge the gap? What if I fall in and probably die immediately? Maybe he down here? Uh-huh. I feel like they're gonna play some... That's the first time we got clearly fooled. This is where we start to slowly fall apart. No. This is a weird place. Aha! Nice. Convenient plank. You guys are turned around and looking at me still. Why are you guys not trying to escape, huh? You see, it's possible. I'm doing it right here. Luckily, they're not screaming like, Someone get out! The abattoir. It's a fortress where those who are brought here, witnesses were called, we are called, are taken to be transformed. I don't know what the man with no face wants with us, and I don't intend to find out. The abattoir is built on top of the portal back to our world. If we want any chance of leaving this place, we have to get inside. This game feels like a fucking fever dream, dude. Yeah, the plank got longer when I placed it, definitely. It was great. They didn't even take away my flashlight. Thank you. It's gonna be timed. I did. How about you try to get out as well? These cages look pretty rusty. If you just smack them, it should work. 
I open up the gates. Oh. Oh, that was a big stomp. Big stompy boy. Can I go up here? No. I can go up here. Your brother, brother's bearded dragon is watching you. Okay, climb up there. Red means scary. Enter, how? It looks like a glass, <laughs> glass window. Maybe. Oh boy. What is this by the way? Is this like a lamp fall fallen from the ceiling? It's been like laying around everywhere. It looks weird. Right. Is this like a portal thing? No. It's... There's no new ones showing up. Luckily, they have those rooms everywhere, though. That's very convenient. That's a very round glass. I like it. I want to lick it. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Excuse me. Oh. These knives? It's gonna hurt when I touch it. What kinds of machinery going on here? What the are they making? It's all these weird, like, gears that are. What are these two gears doing? They're just sitting here. They're just rotating in place, doing absolutely nothing. What's going on? There's not even like different sized gears. I mean, I guess they're changing, they're moving the rotation. Doing nothing. They're decoration. Nice that this game isn't like full of dead ends. You're moving like uh all the time. Let me get locked. Yep. Like this makes no sense. All right, maybe on the other side of this wall, there's like one rod going this way and another rod going that way, and for some reason they need to move the rotation. But like, I doubt it. kind of pointless. The person who was boarding up this door gave up halfway. They were like, don't worry about it. Okay, now this is... This is cool looking. Uh... Uh-oh. <laughs> Stopping the machine. Ah, fuck, I can't get through. The fuck are these? These are just blank slates. Are there like body bags or something? This is pretty, pretty crazy. This is not what I expected when I went into my door in the basement. Oh, come on. <laughs> hey, at least they got some safety features. <laughs> they got fucking... Oh, boy. They got, like, uh, automatic stopping safety features. Portos are way out of here, but the abattoir being built over top of it makes it difficult to reach. However, the portal has created a fissure in the ground at the base of the abattoir. Large jagged rocks prevent it from being accessed from the ground level. So we need to find another way to get through. We need to go up. And another eyeball. 
This thing is kind of crazy. Can we jump down here? What is this even for? Is this some kind of drill? Where are you guys going, huh? There are really, there's a lot of people coming in here all the time, huh? Seems a little insane. What is even detecting it? I guess I don't want you to fall. Oh boy, there's, there's a crazier. Oh no. They look different. They got no heart. Run. Just gotta go back where we came from. Luckily my character knows when they gotta like step up their game and they run extra fast. That's amazing. That happens never in any horror game. This way, I think. This way. Yes. Door has been unlocked. Hi there, I got an eyeball for you. The transformation process is not without fail. If those destined to become enforcers, some are broken too thoroughly, their bodies wither and become dislodged in space and time. They are broken, but not without use. A constant presence to push the witnesses to their final destination. Wah. Thank you for spilling all the beans, by the way. You're just revealing the whole story slowly. No new one. What the fuck? The level design in this game is just like, let's put some pipes there. What is this game about? It's about a door in the basement, and then whatever happens after that. Uh oh. I, mean, I guess all these doors are locked. Terror ghost. You could say that. This is actually an elaborate ghost hunting game. We're making our way to Tanglewood. This way. I don't know if I have to like explore thoroughly to get all the eyeballs or if there's like a special ending if you get them all. I would assume it's like a bad ending if you get all the eyeballs because you know too much. You've seen too much or heard too much. Oh, hi there. Hey, I guess I don't want to go there. There's so many of them. How are you walking around for? I need to move that. We're gonna bait them out and then jump down, maybe, and then like take the time. Ah! Fuck! Ah! Follow me. Uh oh. Are you coming? Oh yeah, you're coming. Don't hit me. Okay. Follow me to victory. Psych! Idiots! Go, go, go. Burn it! Get fucked! Oh god! <laughs> you can't crouch, right? You got no knees? Silly goober? <laughs> Dude, get absolutely outplayed. They are freaking. Why are they spamming these rooms? Excuse me. And I'll save every time because it usually means if there's got to be this many save rooms that there's some hard shit happening. You haven't died at all, though. Uh, Goth Princess, thank you for the four months. What's going on here? I'm stuck in here. It got crushed between the gates. What? You got to turn the machine back on and then follow the lot. Oh, God. Uh oh. That is fucked up. What even is the purpose of this whole facility? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Like they're just like drilling in midair. Oh 
looked like a fucking meet your maker dungeon. Oh, hi. Uh, was I supposed to have another eyeball? Because I do not have one. Maybe we'll find one later on. Whoopsie. Dude, I can't get over the fucking safety features. <laughs> Wait, does that mean there's someone standing in the other one? Because it's blocked? Oh, hi. Oh, God. Fine. They're not going to follow me. I don't... Oh, wait. I thought it was just a button. Oh, God. No! There's many coming! Uh-oh. Loop them! Get looped? Is it just one of these guys? Oh, they're stupid. He doesn't know Pepe laugh. Bye-bye! Uh, yes, thank you. I'm going up. Look at this shit. This is kind of interesting. What, an elevator? <laughs> Interesting elevator design. I feel like you would make. Oh. Yama, thank you for the 19. These things look dangerous. But ah, what the fuck? Jesus Christmas, brother. We're almost at the top. Are we gonna jump down into the portal? Oh boy. Getting real high. Oh, come on! <laughs> of course, what, would I, what was I thinking? Uh, time to jump off the diving platform. Yup, here we go. Whee! There's someone right behind you. Why are you taking your sweet time? Oh boy. You've done it? We made it. We're back in the basement. This looks like where we started. The door is gone. We have made it. But we didn't find the box. That's the whole thing. <laughs> Remember why we were in the basement to find four boxes? Plot twist income. I'm locked in here. Hey. Let me out. Oh, uh oh. Oh no. Hey, Psycho, what's up? Oh no, no. There's another. We we going back into the door. We cannot escape. Um. Ben Taylor, <laughs> of course. Hi. <laughs> oh no, I'm one of them. I have become one, but I haven't given up my own eyeballs. Oh, now I will. <laughs> of course. No, I thought they were going to introduce that a little bit more slowly. <laughs> there you go, though. That was a fun game. It was a very weird game, but like in a... Like, I've played some games, like, literally right before this, we played Claytown, or we tried to play Claytown Horror, uh, but it just, like, didn't lead anywhere because the game started with nothing, like, no information whatsoever. And here, it also started with very little information, but it kind of benefited the whole thing. Like, obviously, it was, it was very simple, like, you were just walking around, but I think some of the jump scares and some of, like, the, the chases were actually pretty well earned. And the atmosphere with like all oh, just, just weird people like I still don't understand everything probably we missed some eyes from some lore explanation But it seems like it's just some underworld like I don't know taking over humanity You know the drill you've seen it in uh, many fictional stories uh, So yeah, that was what happens when you go into a door in your basement That's not supposed to be there uh, and let me know what you think uh, I don't think there's multiple endings. I think that was the only ending. Let me know what you thought I hope you enjoyed the video if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you just like it It's like it and if if you want to join the lobby gamers here in chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash Click the link in the description down below. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs>